we'd like to determine whether these fractions are equivalent. And of course they're equivalent if they represent the same part of a whole. That's one way of seeing if they're equivalent. Another way is by looking at cross products. If the cross products are equal, then the fractions are equivalent. So let's look at this cross product. That's 5 times 11. And what is this cross product? That's 7 times 8. Well, 5 times 11, that is 55. And what is 7 times 8? That is 56. So are the cross products the same? The answer is no, because these products are different numbers. Since the products are different numbers, no, these are not equivalent. These fractions are not equivalent.